Did you ever walk through the hall at school when the other children were in their rooms? Did you ever listen to the sounds that come from the rooms? Some rooms sound like this. What's happening inside? It looks as if everyone is busy at work. But it's so noisy. What makes the room so noisy? Well, children don't stay in their own work groups. Sometimes children drop things on the floor. They call across the room and talk out loud. Betty, Betty, can I use your golden crayon? Sure! Are you sure want to? Yes. It's hard to think about your own work in such a noisy room. You couldn't learn very much here. Yeah, that's right, Well, where did you leave off then? I left off for, um... And you couldn't be proud to be part of such a noisy room, could you? Do all the rooms in school sound like this? Let's visit another room. Listen. It's so quiet. Aren't there any children in this room? Oh, there are children here. And they're all busy, too. But there aren't any loud noises. Just the sounds of working. We call these work sounds. Listen. Now, children, let's read just one more paragraph. Why do you suppose this room is so quiet? Perhaps we can learn from the teacher, Miss Bradley. Well, I think it's because each of us helps to keep the room quiet when we're working. But we're not quiet all the time. You're not? No. We know there are times and places to be quiet, and other times and places when we can make noise if we want to. For example, when we play, we make all the noise we want. Sometimes making a lot of noise is a part of the fun of the game. But when we go to the library, we are very quiet because we know it's a room where we read to ourselves. When we watch movies, we are careful not to make too much noise. That way we can hear and learn more. And you know, we have found that knowing when to be quiet is a part of growing up. Offices where people work are busy but quiet. And that is the way we keep our room. Because a quiet room helps all of us learn. How do you do it? Well, each of us knows how to work quietly. That's very important. Will you show us? Of course. Boys and girls, how would you like to show some of the ways we know of being quiet? Yeah. Well, while we pretend to be working, who would like to show how we work quietly at our desk? Bobby? Now, why is Bobby clearing his desk? Oh, now there won't be anything to fall off and make noise. You keep on your desk only things you need. That's part of keeping the room quiet. Uh-oh, the point broke. He'll have to sharpen the pencil. Can he move quietly so he doesn't disturb anyone? Do you think you could walk this quietly? Listen to this work sound. When he turns it slowly, it doesn't bother anyone. Work sounds tell that you're busy. They don't disturb others. 
but June seems to have lost something. Look, an eraser. Whose do you think it is? Bobby won't talk to June, will he? Whispering is the quiet way to talk when you have to talk. Well, Bobby has moved about quite a bit without disturbing the class. Could you do all that as quietly as Bobby did? Now let's suppose Bobby wanted to get something from the cabinet. How would you do it quietly, Bobby? Bobby certainly knows the quiet way of working by himself, doesn't he? Well, of course, all of us have to, if our room is to be a good place to work. Now, Bobby has shown us some of the ways of working quietly by ourselves. Who would like to show how we work quietly in a reading group? All right, bring your chairs up. Oh, moving chairs will certainly be noisy. Well, there is a quiet way to move chairs, isn't there? There wasn't much noise at all. No one was disturbed. Well, it's good to see you all so bright and cheery this morning. And look, they all have their books with them. Now they can get started without having to wait for any children to get ready. Now. We'll read A Day at the Fair on page 24. Let's read the first paragraph silently to find out who's going to the fair. All the children are quiet while they read, aren't they? Who can tell us who is going to the fair? Philip. Mary, mother, and father. That's right. See how no one else talks when someone is speaking? It's fun to work together that way. Do you think you could work together that well? Thank you. Now we're going to show you how we work quietly together in another way. Who wants to show how we're quiet when we work on our model farm? All right, go ahead. Now you return to your desk. And we'll all pretend again that... How will the children work quietly here? Maybe we should put the jacket over in the fairy. Okay. They speak very quietly. When one speaks, the others listen. That's polite. They stay near the table. They are not bothering children working nearby. And see how well they work together and do things together? Now, let's see. Have we shown you everything? We saw that there are times for noise and fun, such as play periods, and times for quiet and work, such as the library or our classroom. And we saw some ways of working quietly. You remember how Bobby showed us ways to work quietly by yourself, and how we talk together quietly, when we read or tell stories. And how we work together quietly, when we work in groups. Those are some of the important ways we help keep our room quiet. Thank you, children. Now, let's get back to work. You can see how quiet helps us, can't you? Thank you, Miss Bradley. This is a good room, isn't it? A good room to work in, to learn in. Do you know some things you can do to help make your room a quiet place for work?